Hi guys, Mitch Granger here, and this is the new Dynamic Nighthawk model. I'm going to run you through its features and show you some sounds. I figure I'll start with sounds, as that's probably the most important thing. Here we go. I'll start with a nice clean tone, and then I'm going to dial in some saturated overdrive. Okay, there you have it. Two of the new cool features in action right out the gate. The first one I talked about is the overdrive control. So now on the new mic, that is at our fingertips. And I'm sure you're seeing and wondering, what was that other thing? That is the hand effect. And that is all based off this little infrared sensor here. So you might see a little blue light there. We can see that on cameras, but the naked eye can't see it. But what it's doing is it's picking up how close your hand is to the mic. So when your hand is close on the mic, we've got a nice dark tone, more low end. And when we open up our hand, we get a nice bright tone. Actually, a lot of mid-range scoop too. And because of that mid-range and high end opening up, it gives us so much more expression. It's very similar to if you are used to doing hand effects on an acoustic harp. The frequency range is very similar to that. But what you can do now is amplify it, either with a nice clean tone, like I started with, or a fully saturated overdrive tone. Okay, now that's the hand effect. I'll show you now actually how the uh, overdrive is working, and that's with a split shaft pot. And I've taken the knobs off here so I can show you close up. Here we have our volume. It's also our power. If you turn it off, you'll see the power light goes off. And then on top of that is the drive control. And that's how we tailor that. Of course, there are knobs on there, so you don't have to fiddle. But I wanted to show you what's going on. While I've got this up, I'm going to show you this. This connector here is a custom 3.5 millimeter option that I personally use, but the standard model comes with a quarter inch jack. So you can just use a regular guitar cable and away you go. And another cool new feature with this model Dynamic is that fits flush into the microphone now. So it's less obtrusive. While I'm showing you the bottom, let's check out these lights. Uh, because this is a condenser microphone with a preamp built into it, we need a battery, and in this model, we've made it rechargeable. You can see when your power is on, and when you need to recharge, or when it's suggested you recharge, I should say, this light will start to flash. And that starts happening after about 12 hours of playtime. But don't panic, because <laughs> there's actually 48 to 72 hours of playtime before the whole mic goes dead. So you could do a whole tour uh, without recharging if you forgot and you'd be fine. It's just a recommended that you recharge when the light starts flashing. To do that, you plug in the supplied cable there. This light will show red and then when it's fully charged, it's green. And if you do recharge when this is flashing, then you've got an hour charge time and that's it. While I've got you showing this, or while I am showing you this, this magnet here is also new to the Nighthawk, and it means this mic is compatible with a lot of commercially available racks now. So if you want to play hands-free, you can. And this will fit on your Seidel Gecko or your Farmer Gecko rack. Also the Hona Flex rack, just place the bars over here on the gasket and away you go. So that's another very cool new feature. Some of the other things going on here is the mute. 
We've always had a mute switch. So that will then turn your mic on and off. And that's very cool. If you want to mute it when you're changing quickly, you can see I'm doing here. It's all muted. The only sound you're picking up here is from the acoustic sound of it going into my phone. So that's your mute switch. Now I've got the mic on, now I've got it off. And here is the hand effect. So if I don't want to use that hand effect, I just switch it off. And we have the classic Dynamic sound, again with the drive, the volume, everything else, just without the hand effect. So if you don't want to use it for whatever reason, you don't have to. Maybe you have got it on a rack and it still sounds great. Let me show you. Uh, same deal. I'll start clean and then I'll dial in some overdrive. First, take it off mute. That's very loud. <laughs> I have to wait to talk to you so the camera stops compressing the audio and you can hear me talk. But that's the features of the Dynamic. There'll be a lot more videos coming everybody, but if you do have more questions, please post them below on whatever platform you are watching this video on and I will answer them for you. Okay guys, I'll play a little bit more to take us out on this video and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do with this mic. They are available now to order. Okay, let's play, let's play. Start in the middle here, let's start in the middle. 